Hello and welcome to the Madniverse. Today we're going to further explore Treasure Adventure World. Last time we came up to this middle island to go to the next town where our actual quest begins of finding the treasure. But before I guess we can do that, I guess we got to talk to her. Hey you two, how's the gluescape running? I'm afraid I haven't had any time to work on any improvements for her. Ever since I came back home there have been these strange ground quakes happening constantly. I can't get any work done, and I'm afraid my house and workshop are going to collapse. I wish I knew what was causing it. If it doesn't stop, I'll have to move again. I guess we're gonna have to find that out for her? No, it's just a side quest. I mean, I could potentially do that for her. Come here. There we go. I could, if I wanted to. I don't know exactly where I would go to look that up. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't slide. Oh god. Can't. Wow. Can't slash when I'm um, trying to do this. There's a lot of rain here. This place is very rainy. I'm gonna eat that. Thank you. There we go. Hey, little bee. Yeah. Ow. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Hi to you. Yep. Go. Actually, remembered my controls this time. Unlike last time when I had no idea what I was doing. Hi. Do miss the trip. Isn't this where I began? Huh. I guess I ran in a circle. Whoops. Time to go back then. Hey, I went the wrong way. Oh, jeez. Hello. Yeah, come here. Come back here. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Over here. Keep jumping into me. Yep, there you go. That's one down. Come on. Well, when are you gonna die? Ow. I don't know. He didn't seem like he wanted to. I'm not exactly sure where to go to really even begin with this. Hmm. <laughs> I just like sailing on the sea in this thing. It's pretty fun. Whee! I might need some more abilities first before I even try to help her with that side quest. That might be why I can't find what I need. But this should be where I should be having to go. Tenerit Island. I'll go ahead and just do a save, just cause. It's like a wormhole. Okay then. What's this? I guess nothing I can play with. Okay then. Can't. There we go. Isn't that gonna get stuck in there? It's kind of what I don't want. There we go. Made it. Okay. Up. Oh, that's not good. Um. How do I do this? Can I? No. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Okay. Oh hello. It's a cactus guy. Oh jeez. And he's pretty mad. Um, I guess we'll do this. I guess this is what I have to do? Oh, jeez, and they can come up here. I don't like these guys. Um, so I guess we push this here so I can get back up here if we need to. Whee! Oh no! I fell. So I guess I can push that in there if I wanted to, but uh, we don't need it. That didn't work. Try again. There we go. Made it. Hup. Woo! Hup. That didn't work. Yep. Yep. There we go. Made it. Hey, Krabby. Oh, jeez. He's mad. He's mad. He's mad. Slash him. Slash him. Are you gonna die? He's probably not gonna die either. Okay, we're just gonna jump over you then. Oh, hello. Kitty. Ah, fellow adventurers, I see. But better be careful around these parts, the baddies here are pretty tough. But I'm sure you know about charging your attacks, right? Of course I do. Maybe you should explain it to the kid here though. It's easy, the more charge your claws have, the more damage they'll do when attacking. You're fully charged when your claws sparkle. Hope that helps. Next time I see you, I'll give you more advice. Good luck on your journey. Cool. Yeah, I guess that's what that means. 
Okay. Well, thanks. It's not like I gain levels or anything, we know, when I attack stuff, so... It's whatever. Can't kill that. Um, I guess I can go up here and see what's up here. Oh, a door. For another door. And a leaf thing. What's this? How do I... There you go. I'll take that. And I'll just throw it right there. So what's in here? Gotta be exploring. I am a pirate. They explore pretty much everything. There's a big beetle. Oh boy. Um, excuse me. Oh, he's stuck behind the rock. Okay, well at least that's a good thing. I'm sure it won't stay like that for long though. Probably not once I move that lever. Oh, okay, good. That opened up the other side. Real helpful. Real helpful. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That hurt him, but that's not gonna do much, apparently. So we're gonna go ahead and say bye and go in the door. I'm not exactly sure how you get in the other door. Maybe it's a different time of day. It said, like, I think it said two moons. It's only sun right now, so I guess we'll just go ahead and leave that one for later. Oh god, he's following me. Oh no. Go in the saloon. Even though kids are should not be in here. I guess it's okay, I don't know. Hi! My treasure hunting partner I used to go spelunking in the nearby temples. It was dangerous and exciting. We were hoping to stumble across one of the ancient legendary treasures from the legend of Hunyin. Huyan? I have no idea. But then Tony Ward, that guy who runs Globo Corp, came in and shut them down. Now they are off limits. Worst of all, my partner is now actually working for Globo Corp. They offered me a job too, but working is in a in a stuffy office? No thanks. I want to I want adventure. I <laughs> just said I want to adventure. Well, the kid and I were on an adventure. Why don't you join us? Mmm, no. I just can't see myself working with a talking parrot and a one-armed child. You're lost, sweetheart. When we find a legendary treasure, you'll regret it. Oh, you're looking for the legendary treasures too? In that case, maybe I can help you. Did you see that pyramid to the west? You probably passed it on the way here. Yeah, I think I, yeah. I abandoned all our treasure hunting gear in that temple. It's probably buried under a ton of sand by now if you want to find it and you can keep it. Oh, and if you happen to find a ring, could you bring it to me? And no, you can't ask me why. Well, I gotta figure out how to open the other side, but yeah, I could probably do that. Current time is 16.8. Okay. Not really, but okay. Hey! Hey, I don't serve animals here. What is he, your pet or something? I speak for myself. Also, I am not a pet. We're a dynamic adventuring duo and we're hunting for treasure. Treasure? <laughs> I haven't seen any treasure hunters around here in years. It's too bad, you know? They were always my best customers. It's against my better judgment, but I'll let you and the kids stay. What can I say? I'm a sucker for you adventuring types. Feel free to use the hammock upstairs if you want to rest up. You'll need it if you think you're going to find any treasure around here. <laughs> hey. Oh, there's a secret hatch. Maybe I should have went down there. Yeah, probably. Uh, is there a reason those things are leaning? I think I'll go down the secret hole. I'm gonna find out what's down there, why not? Whee! Oh, hello. We've been having a big shark problem around here lately. Some of them say they're attracted to the warm water. But I think they might be some kind of underwater shark city nearby. I'm not kidding. What do you think they're doing down there? I'll tell you what they're doing. They're building some kind of robotic human killing death ray gun. Uh, machine. So that's why I've been developing my own shark repellent formula. Well, you really sound like you know what you're doing. Hey, can we get some of that repellent? Afraid not. I haven't quite finished it. I need one more ingredient to raise this potency. A banana. What? A banana? 
Are you sure you're just not hungry? Sharks hate bananas. Trust me, my research is thorough. Bring me a banana and this repellent will finally be available to all. For a modest price, of course. A banana, huh? I don't think that's right. I never heard of a shark who did not like bananas. That's very interesting. I can't believe you're able to push that. Wow. Uh, can't get in here, can I? Well... I'm pushing this all the way over here. It's not going to really do anything. It's just going to block the path. So... Can't go in here, can I? Um... Oh, this sucks. Now what do I do? I feel like I just want to go get the treasure, but then, like I said, I don't know how to really advance the time. It'd be nice if I could just change this clock and it would fix it. 17.54. Okay. It's almost nighttime. It's almost. I'm getting there. Maybe if I just stay up there for a while, maybe it'll change on its own. Not nighttime just yet. And I guess I can't push that either. So I guess I'm pretty boned. I have nowhere to really go. I guess I'm just gonna have to really wait for this thing to do what it needs to do. Oh, never mind. Other oh, door's already open. Cool. I guess that wasn't late enough. Good. Okay. Now, what do we do to do this? Okay, I hide you, and then we'll just go ahead and do this. Got it! We got a shovel. Cool. Sweet shovel! You do know how to use that thing, right? Once you find a good place to dig, just press S and E. Now we can start digging up some real treasure. Okay, but how? I guess I just do it here. Hold on. Pressing yeah, S and E ain't working. There we go. Nice. Break it. I don't really need that. Um can't break that. I guess we'll go in here. Time to go exploring. Now I have a shovel. Woo! Cool. There's something under here. Uh, no. I guess it'll tell me where I can do that, because I don't know. Oh, well, here we go. This is how we get back up. There we go. Now what do I do? I have a shovel, but for what reason? Um, I don't know. Uh, yes, nothing. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Is the tree supposed to help me? I don't think so. Um, yep, there go scorpions. That's not cool. Uh, nothing here, I don't think. Oop, excuse me. And coming down. Anything over here? Nope, just water and a portal. I still don't know how to open these things. Um, I wonder why this one reset, but the other one didn't. Probably because it's in the hole. So if I push this one on here, it might not reset. But um, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Charge it up, and then it sparkles. And then it's just, I guess it's ready after that, but that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. I just start digging? Nope. <laughs> Not working. How about right here? There we go. Oh, hello. Amp, eh, amp. Eh. It's not working. I don't think it's going to. I need to touch that. I, I can't get over there anyways. 
Ow. I guess I'm just gonna take the damage. I can't get over there. What'd I pick up? Nap Pearl! Nap Pearl contains coordinates for the location of a shovel blade. I see. Well, let's take a look at that, shall we? Shovel blade is... Is that the shovel blade? Yep, that's the shovel blade. Over that way, back on the other island I was just at. So I might have to go back. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Even though I don't really want to, but... There we go. Uh, now we're just gonna go island hopping after I save and get some uh, health back, because I need that. I don't want to die. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> okay. I think it said it was on the lowest part at least, so I don't think I have to go too far to get to it. Which is good, because I don't want to. So let me just go ahead and, um, eh, eh, and rub. Okay. I don't know the real significance of this. I have no idea. Okay. Hey, B. Bye, B. So, where are we gonna go dig? Somewhere right here? I think. How do you know when something's diggable? And, yeah. Go. Strawberry. Not a banana, but, yeah. Go here, then go over there, and then we we'll go here, and say hello to this guy. Again. I don't know how you can tell when something is diggable. Hmm. I went too far. Apparently it's like in the bottom right corner. The place that's like right over here. So it's in here somewhere, I think is what it was saying. Ow. And ow again. Okay. Just supposed to, yeah, dig. That's what I thought. I don't know how you can really tell. I mean, if you just dig everywhere, then you'll eventually find a spot that you can get through. But now we're getting somewhere. Snakey! Hey, snake. Are you a friendly snake or are you a bad snake? He's good. Okay. Hey. Hey there, sister brother. You're a weird looking worm. I haven't seen anyone new around here in ages. Where did you come from? From outside? Wow! Mother Father is going to want to meet you. You could find her by climbing up there and taking a right. You do know how to climb, right? Not really. But, yeah, I guess that works. I didn't think she could fit in these narrow spaces. I guess she can. Hey! These ground quakes keep getting worse. I'm glad you're okay, sister brother. I am not your brother, or your sister, but us worms are both. Sorry, we aren't worms either. You're not a worm? I don't understand. Yeah, okay. Hey. Hey, sister brother, they're all gonna keep saying that. Before the ground quake started, this place was great. All the dirt you can eat. What is this thing? Okay. What did that do? Long before we agreed to lock ourselves in this cave, a visitor installed this elevator for us. But now it's rusty and it takes the weight of at least two of us to activate it. No one here knows how to repair it permanently. I wouldn't know either. Um... I guess there's no way for me to go ahead and pull it down to the green, huh? It's not working. Okay then, I guess let's go the other way. Yep. And see what we got over here. So can I go down here? Yeah, I can. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, you're pretty happy. 
these quakes have made me very nervous. But when I repeat Mother Father's words, I feel better. Chaos is inherent in all compounded things. Strive on with diligence. Okay. Very profound. Alrighty. Where is Mother Father? Are you Mother Father? Yep. How did you get in here? There are no outsiders allowed here. We just let ourselves in the front door. We didn't know anyone lived here. It doesn't matter now anyway. We all are about to pass on to the next life. You see, this tribe has existed in this cave since the Great Cataclysm. After the continent fell into the ocean, our surviving ancestor came upon this island and made it our home. Soon other creatures who had survived the catastrophe began moving in as well. But our ancestors saw that the other creatures quickly reverted to petty bickering, lies, and jealousy. It is believed that it was these behaviors which led the evil demon chaos, the Cataclysm, in the first place. So, our ancestors decided to cut us off from the west of the world, to protect us from all corrupting forces. But now, with all these ground quakes we've been having, our safe haven is going to be no more. When you could do nothing, what can you do? If you wish to proceed through our domain, you can use the elevator in the other room. Here, you'll need this to get it to work. Oh, thanks. Free rock. I mean, there's all these rocks around here, why can't I just take one of those? There's another way I didn't check out either. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There we go. And... There we go. Going up. Okay. So, um... Guess we'll just go up here then. Hi, who are you? Meeting all kinds of people today. Mother Father has made travel beyond this door against the rules. For our safety, the outside world is a cruel, evil place. The best way for us to achieve enlightenment is by keeping far from distractions. It's bad enough that you came here, stranger. Why don't you just leave? Okay. Attitude much? I don't know if that's really going to accomplish much. Where am I going to go after this? Oh, hello. It's a robot. Gotta go talk to him. Hi. Okay. Um, it's a worm. Hi. You look like an honest young simian. Think you could do this old man a favor? Well... Before you answer, let me explain my situation. I can't take all these quakes we've had lately. So I sold everything I had and left with only a sack of cash. But it seems that during the last quake, I dropped my sack of money. I think I dropped it in this cave here next to us. I can't continue my journey without it. I'd go look for it myself, but there are some real buddy uh, bullies in there. If you find it for me, I will reward you handsomely. You can keep any loose coins I may have dropped along the way. Be careful, young mammal. The cave is dangerous. Uh, we'll see what we can do about it. At least I can get some quest done. I mean, I haven't really done much. Oh, hold on. Before you get going, let's check in here. Goings! Uh, do I have a hat that I bought? I don't think I do. No, because I would be right here. I thought I bought a hat, but if I remember correctly, it was a a lot of money. <laughs> so, I said no. Oh, goody. Well, this is gonna be nice. Ow. Um, yeah, I can't get up there. So, we're just gonna go ahead and, um... Ow, take another point of damage. Ah, second money! Found it! What's this door go to? I might go back up to where I can go back down to at least go back to the guy. Hi, got your money. Thank you, young mammal. That's my sack, all right. Let me see here. Yep, it's all here. And now free reward. Thank you. Nice. Quite a bit of money there. 
Okay, now what do I do? Um, can I get up? Yeah, okay. There we go. I have no idea where I'm going, but time to talk to the robot. Hi. Boop, beep, bo uh, buy fruit. Uh, sure. Thank you. That works. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Not again. Ow. Well, that one I didn't dodge. Okay. Now what do I do? Okay. As long as he can get damage, that's fine. The bigger ones I can't do anything about. The big red ones. But these guys aren't too bad. As long as I hit them before they run into me. Like that, again. There we go. And now I'm hurting again. Save point. Sweet. All right. There we go. Even though it wasn't much, but at least we did something. We found a shovel and stuff. That's that's something. Help the guy get a sack of money. But <laughs> I think we'll go ahead and end this one here. It wasn't that much that we did, but it was quite a bit. I mean, we still need a sword. Something. Definitely, because my claw is just, it's not doing much. It's not exactly helping me like I thought it would. But I at least got, well, a thing for a shovel blade. I mean, it'll help, I hope, so we'll see about trying to get it next time, so. Thank you for joining me for this adventure. I'll see you guys for the next adventure. Bye.